my channel web dev wise in this channel we focus on the web technologies and we learn together in this particular video we are going to talk about the prisma orm to perform the crud operations we are going to focus on the two key aspects of our application how to install the prisma orm to perform the crud operations in my video i am going to cover two frameworks next.js and node.js in the comment section i would request you to let me know in which area you are interested more so that i can prepare the further tutorials on that specific part let us understand the basics first what exactly is prisma orm and why exactly do we need it consider on the left hand side you have got a client machine and you want to request something from the database on the right hand side when you request something from the database you get a response to the client what kind of a request we can do from the database the very first request could be a creation request second one could be a reading request or a search query the third request could be to update the data which is already there in the database and the fourth one is deletion of the existing data from the database altogether it is called as crud operations to perform these crud operations in the web technologies there are multiple ways likewise to connect with mysql database you can have a connector there or you can use the prisma orm to connect to these database programmatically let us understand what is prisma and why to use this so prisma is a orm orm is nothing but the object relational mapper which basically facilitates the database interaction within the programming languages and frameworks for example next.js how to connect the to the database via these frameworks prisma orm helps us to interact with the database by generating a client that allows the development to write down the database queries and it also prevents the sql injection attacks so it is quite useful in terms of the de developer experience also why do we exactly need it the prisma orm gives us the type a, type safe client based code on the data data model creation and ensuring the queries which we have write down are type checked at the compile time also the performance and the efficiency of the prisma orm is reduced quite a lot by reducing the number of round trips to the database now what all databases can be connected with the help of prisma orm the very first database is postgres sql db the second one is microsoft sql server mysql server mongo db cockroach db and we can create a sql lite db as well by using prisma so all these database are connectable by using prisma orm let's look at the installation part so you can install prisma in any web application it is not limited to next.js in this example i am installing the prisma orm in a node.js application i'll give you a quick demo at the end of the video but these are the basic commands what we have to do before doing anything we have to install node.js in our application if you want to know how to install node.js do let me know i will prepare a video to install node.js in your mac machine in your windows machine do let me know in the comment section now the second part is once you have installed node.js you have to initialize the node project by command placing the command npm in it then you are going to initialize prisma by putting the command npm install prisma save dev as a dev dependency and then you are going to initialize the prisma by the command npx prisma in it at the end you, you can see i have mentioned one more command npx prisma init data source provider sqlite 
you can choose the data a data source provider at the time of initializing the prisma or you can override it later on let's look at the installation for next js in the next js same steps you have to follow which you, which you have done for node.js installation instead of npx npm init we just need to create next step at latest so that our next next js application is created and then we have to follow the same commands so let's jump right into it i'll give you a quick demo now before moving further let's explore how to learn more about prisma you can so head to the website called prisma.io you can learn all about prisma on this website you have got they have got a great documentation available and you have got a quick start guide as well how to interact with the prisma orm you can see on the quick start guide there are quite a lot of details how to install it how to create the models how to migrate these models into your existing databases and then how to interact and perform crud operations now let's jump right into our tutorial how we are going to interact with our application so so let me open the new vs code window and what I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate to a folder which I created on my desktop. So the folder name is Pridma Node.js project. Let me open this. Now what we are going to do, we are going to open a terminal on our Node.js project. I'm going to clear this and we have to write down few commands. The very first command which we are going to write down is npm init. What is the package name? I am going to give the same Prisma Node.js version. I am going to select everything as default to let it initialize. You can see on the left, the package.json is created now. The next command to install Prisma is npm install Prisma save dev and it is going to install node modules for Prisma. The next command which we are going to write down is npx prisma init. So what it is going to do is it is going to initialize the prisma in our application. Up. On the left hand side you can see a new folder is created with a file in it which is named as schema.prisma. A new file also got created as .env by the npx prisma init command and in this command in this in dot env file we have got the default url for postgres sql now let's let's have a look what all details we get when we run this npx prisma init command so it tells us the database url is present in dot env file you can set the providers and data source in schema dot prisma file which we just explored the generator the client is there you can provide the uh, provider type whether it is a postgres sql mysql sqlite sql server mongodb cockroach tv if you have got an existing schema in any of the databases what you can do you can run a command called prisma db pool to turn your database schema into prisma schema and then at the end you have to run the command prisma generate to generate the your modeled command in prisma client let's try to now let's do the same activity in the next js application firstly we are going to create one folder prisma next js and i'm going to open this folder in my vs code application i'm going to open one more terminal here and what i'm going to do i'm going to install the next tab so to do that, I have to write down command npx create next app at latest. I've, I'm giving dot at the end because I want to use the same directory which I am in right now. Would you like to use TypeScript? No. ESLint? Yes. Tailwind? Yes. Source directory? No. App router? Yes. Customize import alias? No. And it will get installed very quickly. Once this next.js application is installed, 
then we are going to install Prisma on this application. It shouldn't take more than a minute. So let's wait. Our Next.js application is installed now. What we are going to do, we are going to create install Prisma now. To do that, we have to write down one more command. Let me clear this out console. And then we are going to write npm Prisma npm install Prisma save dev. So it is going to install Prisma now on our application. Now we have to initialize Prisma. To do that, we are going to type the same command npx Prisma init. Once we do that, you can see on the left hand side, a folder is created called Prisma. Underneath the same file, schema.prisma is created with the default provider as PostgreSQL and the database URL is residing in the env file which is here. You can see this all comes by default. So if you are following along, go watch my next part in which we are going to talk about the Prisma client. Do subscribe to my channel. Hope you like this video. Thank you.